feeling very tense and nervous, but I'm hoping to do my very best today because I believe this is a very big platform for me to work on myself. And for me, the ice on the cake is to meet Bella today, one on one. Hello and welcome to another exciting edition of The Top Intern. My name is Berla Mundi and as usual, I am your host. Now last week, we saw our finalists go through some rigorous screening exercise, writing their attitude tests, just hoping to make it into the top 12. Eventually, we cut down the numbers and now we have presented our top 12 to you. But what you saw last week was just a tip of the iceberg. This week, they're running you through what their lives have been like and where they intend to go. It's going to be very exciting and I'm sure at this point, you just might decide on who your favorite top intern will be. Keep watching, we'll be right back. You're welcome back and this is still the top intern. It's time to meet our top 12 contestants up close and personal. You've probably heard a few things about them here and there, but do you really know what their goals are? Well, they're doing a presentation using vision boards, which by the way, is a powerful tool helping to set and realize your goals and future aspirations. And that's exactly where we are now in the competition. So let's go meet them. My name is Yobao Frank, a 28-year-old graduate of the Ghana Telecom University College. I hold a degree in telecommunication engineering. I am exhilarated to be in a part of the top in 10 inaugural edition. I believe I possess the skill set and capabilities to determine who a top intern is. With this inaugural edition, I believe that my potential will be projected and that people will see that I possess what it takes to be a top intern. You're welcome to my vision board. This is a plethora of images that represent a little about my past, more of my future and my uh, present aspirations too. So starting with my childhood picture. This was taken in kindergarten, my first year in school. And from there I moved to St. James Seminary Senior High School. That's where I studied science. Then I proceeded to Ghana Telecom. This is my graduation picture actually in Ghana Telecom where I studied telecommunication engineering. So with my background in electronics and all that, I did my national service with Gridco. That's me in, uh, on one of the failed uh, substations. I started my own entrepreneurship gig where I started uh, fixing stuff for people, electronic and electrical stuff. So I named it All Fixed Services, so that's me. Uh, this was in a substation actually. I was fixing one of the thermal uh, machines there. Now this is Bosch. This is a German company that deals in electronics and uh, electricals. And this is here because I want to have a company like this in future. This is my aspiration, this is my, my goal. To actually own a company like this, run a company like this in future. My role model, Felakuti. I love Felakuti so much because of his activism, his perseverance, and his can-do spirits. So, Wallace Swinka is another role model of mine because he's good with his English. He's, he's a no, uh, he received the first uh, award for literature in Africa. He was the first Nobel laureate receiving for English uh, literature in Africa. So this defines me, basically. Um, thank you very much. My name is Ibrahim Abdullah Ayagre. I am 29 years old. I am a graduate from the University of Cape Coast with a bachelor's degree in theatre studies and a master of business administration degree from Central University. I am excited to be on the top intern show because it presents a challenge and I love new challenges. I wish to experience the benefits it will have on my career and the trajectory it has on my life in general. Once again, my name is Ibrahim. Let's enjoy the journey. Going into this presentation, I'm a bit nervous, but come home me, I know I'm going to give it my best shot, market myself the best that I can. And of course, I'm going to meet Bella. I'm going to be starstruck, but I'll try to keep it inside because whew, 
I've been waiting to meet her since, 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 and I can't wait, wait to meet her. This is a sneak peek of my life. So with me, God is the center of everything. I believe he is the pillar that holds my life. And there is one thing I believe in. There is nothing impossible. And if you must do something, it must be done well. So this is generally what inspires me and what my future looks. Um, you can see Uncle Lebo White, Maya Tafo Belamundi, John Dumelo. These are my role models. I do a lot of things, so I get to get inspiration from different people. My Atafo, because of what he has done in the fashion industry, he's been able to revolutionize men's fashion in Africa. Uncle Lebo White, we all know what he's doing with theater in Ghana, and that is my passion. Theater is my passion. John Dumelo has been able to incorporate show business with agriculture and politics, and, and it's something I look forward to. Um, I believe family is everything, and this quote summarizes my belief in family. The memories we make with family, with our family, is everything. That is the simplest way I believe family should be. And some of my favorite writers are George R. R. Martin. I would want a day in the head of George R. R. Martin. I like the way he thinks, and I feel like when I get the opportunity to get in his head, it's not possible, but I wish one day I would get the opportunity. And then we have Tyler Perry another great individual in the realms of theatre. All these people, one thing that links them for me is tenacity and hard work and then growth. There's one thing um, about me too, I own a fashion brand and this is it. I hope that one day I'll be able to build one of the most sustainable fashion brands in Africa. And then another thing is also to be able to pioneer theatre in Ghana and Africa at large. So basically, um, I am Alala one of my favorite books in the world. This is a young girl who believed in education and was willing to sacrifice her life for education in Palestine. And this is something, anytime I feel like there's something I cannot do, I go here and then. So basically, this is who I am. When you see this, you know me, you can get an idea of who I am as an individual. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day. Hello, gentlemen, Hi, have a seat. You're welcome. Thank you. Very much. interesting presentations, I must say. Also, we have Frank and Abraham. And Frank, I'm going to start off with you. Yes. Because you said you want to own a farm. Yes, so please. So that means you want to be a very rich man. Very rich man. You are also into electronics. Yes, and electrical. And your favorite artist is Felakuti. Yes. I'm disappointed you didn't choose Ghana, but it's fine. <laughs> but which of Felakuti's songs is your favorite? Um, I like "I No Be Gentleman" at all. So why didn't you perform it? Well, I've given us like a few minutes here and there. <laughs> because it was a brief presentation. Okay, let's, let's do something. Okay. I no be gentleman at all. I no be gentleman at all. Ooh. I no be gentleman at all. I be African man original. Original. <laughs> anyway, I really enjoyed your presentation. Thank you you. Are into, or you are into electrical, so you yes. have a business. Yes. I'm looking forward to how that business pans out after this competition right. but abraham is a fashion enthusiast and a fashion entrepreneur so i guess the suit and everything i wearing is from from you right uh, yeah hey you don't play what's the name of your brand abraham tibaldo tibaldo yes. what does tibaldo mean tibaldo means greatness in italian i see yeah. and you chose that yeah and abraham is my a truncation of my name of your name yes. how's the business going well i just started but so far so good mm. yeah we are we are making ways so. you didn't give us a catwalk in there we were talking about the fashion business. The runway was not long enough. It was so not long enough, yes. eh? Well, we'll give you that opportunity. But I absolutely enjoyed your presentation. Thank you very much. And I'm looking forward to, you know, how this is going to impact on your task, okay? Good job, guys. Well, let's meet our next two interns who are going to do their presentation. Right after that, they'll join me so we can talk about it. My name is Esinu Akuaja. I'm 27 years of age. I'm an old girl of the School of Performing Arts, University of Ghana. I majored in theater arts. I'm excited to be part of the top intent because this is a premiere season and I'm looking forward to the prospects it has to offer and my group. I'd like to introduce you to my vision board. Here you get to experience my past, my present and my future. So this is me. This is 2020 when I had the opportunity and the privilege to read a validatory speech. It was one of my best seasons or best times in the world. And this is Jesus. He is my number one role model because I just don't understand how he's able to forgive people even when they offend him, how he's able to do a lot of things. And so I endeavor or I'm aspiring to be like him. 
this is my final year project. I had the opportunity to work with teenage mothers. I worked alongside um, Emanuela Sapon. She's also a friend of mine, and then we were made together. We had the opportunity to work with these beautiful people at Adam 4. It was an exciting and an insightful opportunity for us. It was here we realized that there are actually a group of people who can't afford pad. And so teenagers would give sex in exchange for pad. That was how bad it was, and those were the kind of discoveries we made. And so this, uh, these are my parents. My parents of blessed memory, I'm just indebted to them because if it hadn't been for them, who invested so much in me, my siblings, these are my siblings, our first one, second, I'm the third, and then there's the last. If it wasn't for their contribution and then their investment in our lives, I wouldn't be here today. And so kudos to them for everything they did. I believe in friendship so much. I believe so much that I believe that we need to grow together in order to become better together. And so what is life without companionship? And so this is my childhood friend from SHS. She's been a support system to date. And then these are friends, some of my friends that God blessed me with during undergrad. And then this is our, I mean, graduation day. We're all excited. And so when it comes to sermon, yeah, I'm a daughter of Zion, I'm a child of God. So I really love listening to Apostle Joshua Selman. I like the way he delivers his message. And I believe that he doesn't just stand for God. He, he's able to combine every aspect of life and so I endeavor to become like him and then so I used to have dreams like I want to be an actress I want to be um, a media person not until I discovered Henry Hens I don't know if you've heard of the Hens ketchup I mean we that we eat the potato chips we know we used to it so yes I read in a book that this man as of the time he, he died that is 1919 he had over 6,000 employees and so for me it shook my mind and so I want to be like him. These are people I look up to, there's, there's Tumi Care, there's Oprah Winfrey, there's Nanama McBrown, there's Tyler Perry. These people are people I look up to because I believe their growth has been organic and then they've been a good contributor to the communication space, the creative art space and so I look up to them. I look forward to becoming, I know this is a New York Times bestseller. Um, it's normally in the U.S. setting, but I look forward to becoming that. And any time I'm bored, I always find my time on YouTube. Thank you very much. My name is Mabel Yabu Adafo. I'm 25 years old. I have a bachelor's degree from the University of Ghana in psychology. I am very elated to be part of the maiden edition of the Top Intent reality TV show especially because I know I would meet amazing intellectuals who would help to contribute to my growth. Now I'd like to take you through a journey through my life. So firstly, I'll start with my philosophy. My philosophy is pray, plan, project, and then execute. I've named them the three P's and an E. So pray, plan, project, and execute because firstly, I believe that in everything you have to pray about it. After praying that you plan, then you make projections about how it will be like the cost benefit analysis and then you execute if the cost doesn't outweigh the benefits. That's what I believe in. Also, this is my family. I come from a family of five and I'm the only girl. I'm actually the first one of my family. I always do my best to make sure that I'm ahead of my peers so that my brothers will have people to look up to. And I look up to Sika Osei and then Adesua Itomi Wellington. Firstly, they are married women in the world of film, and they are able to combine marriage and then work. They are drama free. You never hear any negative thing about them. And that's one of the major reasons why I like these two people. I like traveling, but then I've not traveled outside the country before. I hope to travel outside one day, especially to the US. I want to go to Disneyland. <laughs> also, I love photography. Whenever I go to church, whenever I go out with my friends, I'm always the one doing the photography work. I do that at church a lot, and here you can see that it's one of the major things that inspires my life. I see beauty in everything, so I capture it. I also like Banku, that's why it's here, and I like going out with friends. I like every picnic setting, I just love it. One of the things that actually help me in life and inspire me a lot is football. I look up to Leonel Messi in football, he's the best. I also love reading a lot, and one of my favorites. Writers is um, Chimamanda Ngozi Adichim. 
this is one of my favorite books from her, which is Americana. It's a very interesting book. So if you've, not, if you've never read it before, please try and then read it. I like listening to music a lot. So this is just a picture of me with my airports in my ears. Whenever you see me anywhere, you see me with airports in my ears. I'm listening to music. I despise laziness. So this is a quote that helps me to not be lazy, which is laziness will never turn your dreams into a reality. I believe that you have to resist from being a lazy person. This is a picture of the things that I hate. In this room, you can see that there is clear disorganization and then there is mess. I hate mess. I hate disorganization. So this is a logo of my company with three of my friends, females. We founded Beautiful Colors Productions. And then we hope to create groundbreaking films in the world of movies in Ghana. And also, I place a top intern logo here because I believe that this would help me to achieve my ambition of owning this production and then making it the best in the world. And also, it would also help me to create an avenue for people to be able to talk about mental health in our country. Thank you. I'm so happy I'm done with my presentation. I was all jittery before entering the room, but then now I'm done. I'm so happy. I got to show the world what I do, my production company, Beautiful Colors Productions. I'm so happy everybody has seen what I have to offer. I'm glad I'm done. Have a Thank seat. You. Thank you. You're waiting you. for me to say have a seat here. <laughs> so we're about to go into church because AC says her role model is Jesus Christ. I was waiting for a memory verse. What happened to that? Why didn't you give us a quote? When next I'm presenting, I'm When next, that. eh? Well, anyway, so your presentation was interesting. I realize you dwelt on your past a lot. Yes. Why, why was that so important for you? Okay, I dwelt more on my past because um, when I finished school, I didn't get the opportunity to go to, um, to further immediately. Mm. I failed math, and then I lost my mom oh. as well. And it took like three years before I got back to school. But then at the end of the day, I still emerged an overall best student, and so, I believe that the investment of my parents really mattered in my future, yeah. or my, my present and then my future. That's how come I paid attention to my past. So that's why you want to help other young women. Yes, because I mean, self-confidence is everything. Yeah. Yes, if you have to rate your self-confidence, one to ten. Ten. I'll give myself eight. Eight, eight, eight. Mabel, now you wanted to do the whole messy, he's a good <laughs> kind of thing. And I'm sure the Ronaldo fans are here like, madam, madam. But he won the Ballon d'Or. Yeah. You're excited about that. Very, very. How long have you been a Messi fan? Since I was, I think, 15. 15? Yes. So if you meet Messi today, what would you tell him? Wow, that he's the best. He's That's the, all you want to say? No, he's the greatest of all time. Whenever I look at him, I see that I can do everything I put my mind to. Mm. I can also get achievements, I can get more records, I can do better, I can always do better than my previous self. I told you we were going to change. Now it's become an inspirational <laughs> session here, but you have a business that yes. you're running or hoping to run? Yes. Okay, well I wish you all the best with that. Okay. And so Jesus and Messi have just joined <laughs> us. <laughs> AC and Mabel, very interesting presentations by the way. Let's move on to our next two. My name is Jethro Kwame Apiakobi. I am 28 years old. I hold a bachelor's degree from the University of Ghana, majoring in business administration. I feel very euphoric and excited to be a part of this program because I believe this platform will give me the opportunity to showcase my intellectual abilities and prowess to employers and career investors, thereby propelling me to pursue and achieve my life's objectives and ambitions. Hello, family. I'm here to run you through my present, my past, and my future. So this is me here, my picture, and my likes, food. I like food, no, food likes me very much, so I don't joke with food. And another like is also having time with family, like laughing, teasing one another, yeah, to release stress. So I just have a few people in my life. And these are my life philosophies by my greatest man, of course, Rocky Fella. He says, don't be afraid to give up the good to go for the great. Never settle for mediocrity. No, it's not, a, it's not a choice. It's not an option. And also Henry Ford, the one who made the forecast, he said, whether you think you can or can't, you are right. So in this life, everything you do begins with your mind and your heart. If you think you fail, you fail. If you think you win, you win. And my role models, Rocky Fella, of course, the great man, the richest man in American history. And my dad, 
and this um, auntie Irene Ampon. This woman is very resilient. And my dislikes, selfishness and self-centeredness. People who are always just centered on themselves, selfish, not wishing to or not um, giving room to even sacrifice for others to also go and they are just focused on themselves. I don't like such people. And negative and positive people. You see, you can see here half full and half empty. So it depends on your perspective. If you see it as half full, you will see that oh, it is almost full, so I will feel it. But when it's half empty, it's empty, so your efforts are less. My hobbies, yeah, watching football. Yeah, I'm a Manchester United fan. I know we are going through trying times, but Charlie, loyalty over love, so I stick with them. And also listening to music. I like the oldies. I'm actually the day Daddy Lumba and Co. Yeah. Then my aspirations. I hope to be a multilingual, to speak so many languages. Because, because of the way I like food, if I am able to speak so many languages, I'll be able to taste so many foods. And also, I want to be an entrepreneur in food storage too. And my hobbies are playing droughts. Yes, this one is drought, it's not check, yes, yeah. And also playing the keyboard for shabby reasons, to get some small money and do a few things. And in the near future, my ambitions is to be a philanthropist and also a guidance and career, okay, modeling, you didn't come here. And also hit the gym. I have some big clothes I want to fill before I die. So I'll hit the gym. So this is basically my life. <laughs> My name is Steven Nate Takiti, a 25-year-old graduate from the University of Education, Winneba. I read Rehabilitation and Disability Studies with a minor in Gerontology. I am very thrilled and excited about this opportunity with a top intent because I hope to leverage upon the publicity to be able to become an advocate for persons with disabilities in my community. Welcome to the story of my life. So, this is me and my mom, my beloved mom, Miss Patricia Edu. I was a graduate at the University of Education, Winneba. I, in long terms, would want to study at the Center for Universal Design at the North Carolina State University. I would want to learn more about universal design and how it accommodates persons with disabilities. Uh, this is one, two, and three of my projects with UNICEF. I was able to uh, do a project on open defecation. This is the entire Moabin who, I, I, wherever I see her, I really, really thank her a lot. She saved me in 2020. She paid my fees when nobody came to for me. You know when, prior to COVID, a lot of things happened and I struggled to pay my fees. And I just DM'd her and she sent me an amount to pay my fees. And I really, really thank God for her life. Usually you see me at a serene environment. That's where you see me, you know, in, I was at the Volta region at now where I was, I was, I was seeing. I like serene environments where I can be able to be alone. I like, I like nature a lot. So you, you really see me like doing a few things together. This is my favorite ward at the, at the hospital, post delivery ward. That's where all the cases are. That's where you see absconding, child surrendering, mothers running away, leaving their children and all that. So you, you see mothers, you see children just uh, laying there without any help. This was a project I did with UNICEF where I organized a community there about with them. Uh, and in long terms, I would also love to uh, join the Manila Washington Fellowship for young leaders. In long terms, I would, like to, I would like to be a pillar where disabled groups can look at me and tell me that I've advocated for them. I've spoken for them. Wherever I found myself, I used every platform I got to, to, to speak for them. This is my favorite scripture. He that believes on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. I would want to be like a channel where all disabled groups can be blessed. Anybody who sees me and sees me on television can say that Stephen spoke for me whenever, when, when he was on TV. He said wherever he finds himself, he will speak for me. So I would like to be a channel. What's more? And I can also do, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. This is the story of my life. Thank you. Hello, Stephen and Jethro. Welcome. Have a seat. Thank Have you. a seat. Thank Why were you afraid to sit down? <laughs> Good job. Good job on your presentation. How did it go for you? Do you think you did well? Yes, excited. Well, I was very excited about my interview. Are you sure? I felt I was, be, I was able to express myself in, in the things that I do. You were very keen on <coughs> your uh, disability campaign. Yeah. Why that? Well, because I feel disabled groups have been very marginalized in the community and they've not had a voice over the years. And 
from national level to grassroots level, mm -hmm. persons with disabilities uh, have been marginalized. Yeah. They have been discriminated a lot. So I feel being on this platform, I'm able to leverage upon it, be able to become an advocate for them. Yeah, yes. that's nice. Guess who wants to fit into clothes that his father brought him? He says he needs to hit the gym. Did, were you exercising before? Yes, but I couldn't continue because I did. I lacked the endurance. Endurance? Yes. So while you're here doing top and 10, at what point will you be able to go to the gym? Because <laughs> right now, you're going to be doing tasks back to back. Yes, so it's a, it's, a, it's a desire I wish to achieve before I die, actually. So I, I have see. a long time, yes. Did but I have to fill those clothes before I die. Uh, well, you're going to live for a long time. Yes. So don't you fill, you fill them. But Amen. you talk about Ford and how he was one of your inspirations. Yes, Why please. him, just briefly. He has one quote. He says, whether you think you can or can't, you are right. Mm. So everything we desire to do in this life begins with our mindset. Mm -hmm. Once you believe your abilities and your mind and your capabilities can help you achieve that goal, you can actually do it. Well, the goal is to hit the gym and get six packs, right? Uh, yes. So whether right. you think you can or you can't, you are right. I'm right. <laughs> well, he's right. And of course, this has been an exciting one. Well done to both of you. you. Yeah. So Stephen and Jethro, they've done quite a good job. But we still have more truly fascinating stories yet to be shared on the Top Intents. We'll be right back. You're welcome back. This is the Top Intern, and today is all about the vision board presentation. Basically, just tools to help you set your goals and your agenda in life. And that's what our top 12 contestants have been doing um, since we started this episode. You've seen about six of them. There's six more to go. So let's quickly go take a look at who is next. And when they're done, they'll join us here. My name is Al Hassan Abdul Basit. I'm a 22 year old graduate from the University for Development Studies, the Pride of Northern Ghana. I hold a Bachelor of Science degree in Biochemistry. I feel very privileged and honored to be part of this Top in 10 reality show. I believe and hope this will be the best opportunity for me to refine my skills, learn from experienced professionals, and also believe this will be the bedrock for my future career. Hi everyone. Hi. I'm here to take you through my vision board. So first and foremost, I would like to take you through my mantra. That's great. Great has been equated to passion and perseverance, and that was done by my people lead in ABL, where I did my internship. This is my family here, a picture of my auntie getting married. That was last year, and, and she now has a beautiful daughter with her name Lois. So during my free time, I usually spend my free time either watching anime or playing chess. Uh, with anime, we have three, what's the name, greatest of all. We have One Piece, we have Bleach, and we have Naruto, which is my favorite being Naruto. With the chess, I spend almost an average of one hour every day playing chess. I learn a lot from my opponents and the way they play. With my future career, I aspire to have an accomplished uh, profession in research and development, mainly in the industrial facilities. With the research and development, we look at uh, improving products or bringing up uh, new uh, what's the name, ideas, creative ideas, innovation to help the company. Usually, it's a long-term project, but the benefits are massive. With the Lens Six Sigma, I currently have a green belt in Lens Six Sigma. We usually look at uh, defining the problem, measuring, analyzing the improvements and the control. So if you have a problem, we usually look at how you define it. Probably you like to use a process map and define your problem. How you measure it, you like to uh, use your targets, your KPIs. How you analyze it, you like your five wise, your problem solving tools. How you improve it. Probably uh, you have your no uh, knowledge management skills where you have your gobs and other companies you benchmark, right? And we have your control with everything. Uh, after everything, you have to set your controls so, so as to keep the improvement. So as a Muslim, one of our pillars uh, is the Hajj, the pilgrimage to Mecca. And I hope one day I'll get the privilege to attend Mecca. With Old Trafford, Old Trafford, um, Manchester United fan, the theater of dreams. So I actually want to be there one day watching my team play in the Old Trafford. With my philosophy, we have yin and yang, negative and positive, feminine, masculine, dark, and light. So in everything, they all synchronize as a thing to create harmony in the universe. Thank you. Wow. 
My name is Nana Yawadai Sam, a 25-year-old alumni from the University of Ghana with a bachelor's degree in political science and theater. I feel very excited to be part of the pioneers of this great show. I look forward to gaining more insight from this great show, which will help me improve upon my skills and then gain knowledge from the expertise we'll be coming across on this platform. I'm here to take you on the roller coaster of my life journey as well as the person I aspire to become in the near future. So 25 years down the line, two lovely couples came together to give birth to a royal diadem named Baby Nana Yawa Daisam. So as you can see, this is me dressed in an all black denim jeans with a gold chain here. So this picture here represents my first day at school. I'm someone who doesn't joke with my handkerchief. So as you can see, I am neatly dressed here with my handkerchief. Even my lunch box wasn't captured, like you would have seen how bulky it was there. So this is my first day at school here. So because I was born to two Christian parents, the doctrines of Christianity was instilled in me. So I never joke with my church at all. And even to date, prayer is one of the key aspects of my life. So this is a picture of me and my late grandmom at church here. So because I have walked through all the basic phases of my educational life, this is a picture of myself and then my colleagues in my junior high school. This was, we took this picture after graduation and then right after that, I had the opportunity to attend the best boys school in this country. This is St. Thomas Aquinas. And our mantra is Bebe. Bebe in simple terms means no time. So I'm someone who doesn't joke with my time at all. So fast forward from the senior high school, you know it's everyone's dream to attend the university. So fast forward from the senior high school, I moved to the University of Ghana. Of course, that's the premier university in this country. So this is me in my matriculation attire. This section of my vision board is a pictorial representation of my role models. In the middle here, as you can see, this man needs no introduction. That is Cristiano dos Santos Ronaldo. He's the greatest player to ever grace the, um, this group. Yeah, he's the, he's the definition of hard work and an embodiment of unrelenting resilience. That feature runs through my late grandma who passed on two years ago and then my mom who is currently a warrant officer at the Army Combat Training School. She is a soldier. You know, it takes too much determination to become a soldier, you understand? So that feature of unrelenting, um, of unrelentlessness and then determination and hard work runs through these role models of mine. And I aspire to, one way or the other, adopt that positive feature of them and then move forward in life. Now, when you come to the latter part of my vision board, I have named it the big plan. The big plan because this is what I aspire to achieve in future. So first of all, I want to become a barrister. So I aspire to become a lawyer one day. And of course, I would love to own a house. Everyone seated here would love to own a house. So this is a simple representation of the kind of house I would like to build. And I also love to own a luxurious car one day. This is a $450,000 SUV machine. That's the Rolls Royce Cullinan. It's something I would love to own. And then once I achieve the status of becoming a barrister, I will definitely gain financial freedom and then help the society at large and help people who are in dire need and solve one or two problems in the society. So this is basically an optical representation of who I aspire to become in the near future. Thank you. Okay, hello gentlemen. Mr. Ying and Yang and my, my fellow Ronaldonian. <laughs> Well, not fellow though. I'm not sure. I'm still deciding whether I'm a Messi fan or a Ronaldo fan. But you talked about yin, yang, light and darkness. Like there's two sides to every story. Tell me about that. Okay, so basically the yin and yang is a Chinese philosophy. Yeah. That talks about the darkness and light, uh -huh. positive and negative, feminine and masculine. Yeah. Both uh, synchronizing uh -huh. to bring about a universal harmony. Hey. A, a universal harmony. Okay. That's how it happens. And so you are referring to that in what? you know, aspect of your life? Okay, so in every bad situation, uh -huh. there is always a, a symbol of hope in it, a piece of oh. hope. And in every good situation, there's also a bit of darkness in it. Hallelujah, somebody. Do you want to be a preacher along the way? Because no. the way you started, it looks like you're on that trajectory, no. on that tangent, not at all, eh? Anyway, hi, Nanayao. Let's talk about Ronaldo. He didn't win the Balloon d'Or. He was not even nominated this is weird, what the first time since 2003 or 2020 something 
<laughs> that he has. Oh, but you're a fan of him, you don't know. <laughs> ah, my friend, this is where we disqualify you as a fan of him. But why him in particular? Uh, Ronaldo possesses um, a character that I believe is not common in this current age because for someone of his age to be doing what he's still doing, I mean, it takes, not, it takes more than hard work to even achieve that feat because mm. for him alone to be the player with most international goals at 838, people mm -hmm. get to this age and then you see them in mid-leagues or they don't even make it to yeah. that top level. Yeah, so that resilient feature about Ronaldo makes me love him a but lot. But Messi is there. Well, I'm not a fan of Messi. Why are you not a fan of Messi? What's the reason? I don't know. I just don't know. Just say, don't be afraid. Like you just say it. No, be I'm bold. <laughs> we're, we're talking about bold and assertive people on the show. Why are you not a fan? What don't you like about him? He gives up early. He gives up too early? Yes. Mm. In my opinion. And you don't like people like that? No, 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 not at all. Ah, but there are two sides to the story. Like you said, there's light and darkness. So it has to combine so that oh, to bring hope. Well, not at all. To me, Messi gives up early. I see. On that note, well, thank you so much, gentlemen, for joining me. Okay, let's go back to our conference room. We have our next two contestants to share their vision board. With you. My name is Helena Quist, a graduate from the Ghana Institute of Journalism. I read communication studies and majored in public relations. I am 27 years old. I'm stoked to be part of the top intern. I know it's going to shape me and bring the best out of me. Helena means bright, bright shining light. That's why I have this bright shining light over here and I am a Christian so I believe in God. This is my beautiful family. These are my sisters. I have three beautiful sisters and this is my dad and I on my graduation day. You can see the smile on his face. He was proud of his girl. I also own a skincare brand, which is Savannah Glow Shea Butter. Shea Butter is the new gold in Africa. So I see this brand as an international brand, which would sell out across the globe. And I'm also a voiceover artist. Yes, I do voiceovers for brands and I hope to work for big brands. I love nature. So I like going to the beach. I love watching movies. It can be horror, it can be documentary, it can be anything. As long as I will have fun and educate myself, why not? Um, it's my biggest dream to visit Old Trafford. Yes, I'm a Manchester United fan. So I would love to go and watch them play live. I also like writing. I write poems and books. And maybe I might launch a book soon, who knows? I also like visiting fun zone places because it brings out the child in me. And over here, I have the people I admire. I love this woman so much, Nanama McBrown, because she's on almost all the billboards you see in Ghana. And I would love to be a brand ambassador. I would love to influence people to purchase a product or a service. So I like this woman so much because she is a good brand ambassador. And this is Daniel Macaulay. He's the owner of Magdan and Berlamundi. I started voiceovers because of her. And this is my main man. I call him Ciro or Roro. Aside football, he also, he's also a businessman. And again, when Ciro is on your billboard, forget it, you are going to sell out. And these are my dreams. I like to own a beautiful house and I like Mercedes-Benz SUV, Maybach. Yes, in the future I might acquire that. And I like to build a football academy as well to scout football players. I would also like to uh, have a dialysis center to help people living with chronic kidney failure because it's expensive. So maybe when it's free, people would come. And I would like to visit these places as well. Uh, Greece and Bali, yes. And Manchester United is right here. Yeah. Thank you. My name is Moses Anyome, a 27-year-old graduate from the University of Ghana with a degree in accounting. I'm enthused with a high sense of purpose to be on this show, which will help me to showcase my various skills and experiences to employers and experts in my field. This is why I'm excited to be on the top intern. 
I'm here to take you through my vision board. So this is my humble beginning from where I started my life. Growing up, I wanted to be a pilot, but I changed my dream. And then I got, got into uh, my junior high school. I dropped out of school, unfortunately. After some years, I got back to school. And then I went through um, to the senior high school, studied business. Uh, this was my, the, the beginning of my leadership role, where I became the main house prefect of my house. That was my first job I ever landed was Junior Shippers Africa as a project assistant. You could see me here. I got admission in the University of Ghana. And then whilst in, in the university, I got inspiration to go into politics. And these were the people I look up to. You could see Kwame Nkrumah, Rollins, Mandela, and then Kennedy Japan. One thing I identify common to all of them is their charisma and then how outspoken they are to national issues. So, and Kennedy, I like him because of his entrepreneurial skills and then his um, philanthropic works he does. And I look up to him so much. I lost my job in COVID and then my boss recommended me to work with a production house. This was my first day and it was the first work I could ever do in the production. And from there, they retained me in their company as a client service officer. And then after some time, the general manager traveled and I was asked to step in for him and I did. From there, I also got opportunity to work as a census officer and I was a supervisor. You could see me working with one of our respondents who, who gave me the toughest moments in, in, my, in my life. I got, I got an inspiration to start some businesses. This is my first business. I started with a zero capital and it really grew well. And then this was, um, I was offering um, accounting services to startups. And then fast forward, I'm, I'm looking forward to becoming a politician. So this is me in the Parliament House. The moment I got to the Parliament House, I located Kennedy Japan seats. And then I said, I would like to be like you and I'll come back again with the seats. So this is what I do with my free times. I go to public schools to give mentorship sessions to them and give them career advices. In my free time, I like to read biographies of people to learn about their story. And um, in the some few years to come, I would like to have my professional certificate exams in accounting and become an accountant. I also like to be a manager here. Yeah, after get, uh, securing my job, I would like to have a beautiful family with my wife and my kids and as well build my accountancy um, firm here. Yeah. So this is my question board. Thank you. Hello, hello, Helena and Moses. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I must say I'm inspired by the fact that you say I'm one of your role models. Yes. Tell me about that. Yes, um, because um, what, um, I used to hear you talk, um, I think it was Omini Bars yes, on a particular bars, year, yes, was a long time and ago. you were doing almost all the voiceovers, and anytime I'm in the kitchen or anywhere, nobody has to tell me it's Brella Mundi. I just know, and then I love the way the voice goes, and you just have to pay attention to her. Aww. So I said to myself, okay, I can do this because people have been telling me, why don't you try it? Mm -hmm. And so I started and yes, it's good. Here you are today. <laughs> yes. Taking part in the top in 10. I prophesy. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Moses. Hello. So you uh, say your role model is Kennedy Japan. Yeah. How did you feel about him not necessarily getting the votes he required to become the flag bearer? Um, I like the fact that he made an effort and that was a good effort. I like how uh, resilient he is, mm. his confidence, mm. his charisma, yeah. that moves me. And then one thing I like so much about him is investment skills. Yes. He's an investor and then he do a lot of philanthropic works. And then I look up to that. I want to be a big entrepreneur and then make an impact in the lives of people. Mm. Because of his experience and how good he is, that's why he has retained his seat for so many years. So I look up to such such soft skills from him. So you want to give us a showdown on Top in 10? I'll, I'll give them a showdown. You'll give us a show. Hey, showdown. easy, easy. <laughs> we beg you. Yeah. But anyway, it was a pleasure speaking to both of you. I think you did fantastic. Yes, please. And I'm looking forward to all the other things you're going to do in the competition. Sure. So great job, okay. Helena and Moses. Well, let's move on now. My name is Kaiser Raphael Tete, 27 years old and an alumnus of the University of Professional Studies, Accra where I pursued a Bachelor of Arts in Public Relations Management. I'm thrilled to be on this platform. The top intern will be an exciting journey to network, to bond, and then to work with teams. It will be a place to learn and then explore all the opportunities available. I look forward to an exciting journey ahead. I'm here to take you through my vision board. Uh, I made the 1414 version of it. But then we are in 2023, so let's do technology. Let's begin with the things I like. In my mornings, I begin with prayer. I don't joke with my quiet time. 
And then my philosophies in life, you can see the clock here, and then you can see integrity. Those are the two things. Time and integrity are the best commodities you have. Guard it with your life. That is the philosophy I live by. The things I like most are reading. I love to read a lot. Anything at all, I will read. Then I love to listen to birds and then watch the sunrise in the morning. Then I like to follow the stock market. Sometimes I get confused as to what is happening, but I enjoy it. And then this, Momo Alert. If you have free Momo, send it my way. I enjoy Momo. The things I don't like. Number one, I don't like being unproductive. I don't like being lazy at all. I don't like people who sh shift blame. So I don't like to blame others for things. Take responsibility for your action. I don't like people who knock. Talk about one thing 68 times. No, we don't do that. Then I don't like long queues. Where there is a queue, you won't find me there. Now, to the things I aspire to be. First of all, I want to get a PhD. I look forward to that. I look to visit the Namib Desert and then the National Park in Namibia. I'm really looking forward to it. I aspire to speak at the UN General Assembly, so you know where we are going from there. Then I look to build a credible brand, one that will stand the test of time. I want to be able to speak at a TEDx conference, be invited to the TEDx one day, and then build a PR agency that can advocate for brands that do not have the money to pay for it. I want to be able to help government in times of crisis be able to gather support, get people together so that we are able to show up the effort of government. That is one thing I want to do. Things I like doing in my spare time, I love to volunteer. Where there is no teacher in a primary school, call me, I'll be there. I love to get new skills. So anything I find curious, I am there. I want to know about it. I want to visit the Colosseum. I've seen it in Spartacus, in Gladiator. I want to be there and see it for myself. I aspire to be a communicator, so you can see my, my image here. This is a citation I got for being the best youth model parliamentarian for just the past year. So I aspire to go into politics as well. Now let me walk you through my mentors. First of all, you can see Paul Kagame. This is the kind of politician I want to be. What is right, let's get it done. Johnny Hughes, advocate for social change. Woody Meyer changed the narrative about Africa. This is Nana T. You are driving across the road. It is too bushy. Get out from your car with it. This is Chimamanda. I want to be a great speaker. So these are the people I look up to. Then there is Wusi Tembekwayo. I want to become a successful entrepreneur. So these are the people I look up to. Then the last two you see there, Dr. Abna Sumenin, advocate. And then finally, Dan Luk. The best thing you can do for yourself as an individual is to have financial independence. Then you'll be able to touch lives. Thank you. You can call me Portia Mesa. I'm 27 years old. I'm a graduate of the Old University of Choice, UCC. I have a bachelor's degree in psychology. One of the defining moments for me was when I was chosen to be part of the top intern. This program promises to be very educative and informative, and I can't wait to connect with great minds. Hello guys, these pictures represent my life, so stay tuned as I take you through. So this is little me in the 80s, and this is me in the 10 years challenge. I know I've not changed that much, but that is not the focus here, okay, so let's move on. So these pictures, these are my brothers, and these are my sisters. I actually belong to one big traditional family. They are very supportive of each other and then they show up for each other. These same pictures represent my graduation day, which is a very memorable day, but I'm going to tell the story another time. So let's move on to, yeah. So over here is me on a typical Sunday. When you come to church, at us at home, you find me in the children's service helping out. And then in school too, I help with Bible studies. Currently, I'm pursuing a course in mental health because I want to advocate and reduce stigma and discrimination in our country or in our world. And so this was February 28th this year when we went on Rare Disease Day trying to educate people about several types of rare disease in the world, about 7,000 plus. Okay, so moving on, I like cooking a lot. I'm sure that's having some weight. So 
I love cooking because it's about bringing different ingredients together and then producing a very perfect meal, okay? When I'm cooking, the only thought that comes to mind is about the beauty in diversity. So I love cooking. And one of the women I love is Bella Mundi. I really admire her a lot. The first time I learned about Bella Mundi was when she was in University of Ghana in her final year and she was still doing media. And the only word I said was, wow, I mean, the strength to combine this. And I followed Bella throughout her journey because she's a definition of resilience, of consistency, of showing up each day and then telling herself that, yes, I want to prove everyone wrong and prove herself right. So I just love her. One thing I actually dislike is people are very pessimistic. I believe life is already hard on its own. So why not look at it with a positive attitude? So whenever I'm around people who are very pessimist, I, either, either I alert you or I just quell into my shock because I don't want you to spoil my vibes. I also love to travel one day to Greece just to see the beautiful sights. And then one of my greatest philosophies from Steve Jobs, he says that we are here to put a dent in the universe Otherwise, why else even be here? I believe wherever we go or wherever we find ourselves, you're supposed to leave footprints because one day posterity will judge us. Thank you. Hello, Portia and Raphael. Hello, How are you both doing? Fine. Do you like food or you like to cook? Which is which? <laughs> I think I like food. I you like, like food. food. So what's your favorite meal? Ampesi. Ampesi. And when you are cooking, which one is your favorite to cook? Ampesi. Ampesi eh, as no, well. Yeah. Bayram Pisi. But there's no Bayram Pisi in Greece. So. You say you want to go to Greece. Oh, yeah, but... yeah, yeah. <laughs> so if you get there, what will you eat? I'll just try to eat their food. I really don't know much about it. But, but why Greece? They have very beautiful scenery in their beaches. Mm. And yeah, it would be a nice place to visit. Well, you should get some momo to be able to go to Greece. <laughs> Definitely. And that's what Raphael likes. He says what? The most exciting thing about his life is getting momo alert. Why that? It's, it's satisfying when. After a hard day's work, you are just in your room imagining things, then mm -hmm. ding ding, you check. Mm -hmm. You think it's one of those people who yeah. it's into, but then it's a momo alert, it's really satisfying. What's the highest amount you've received? Uh, 15,000 cities. Momo alert! <laughs> hey, that's why you like it. 15,000! <laughs> I see, now that you're saying you like Momo I'm sure everybody's going to look for your number and start sending you. Yes. So even if it's too. one city, you don't mind? I don't mind. Hey, wow. Okay, then you should become a, a Momo agent at this point. No, I, I should be a Momo recipient. Oh, rather, you want to be a recipient, Momo. not an yes, agent. You don't want to Momo. send, no, receive, but you want to receive. receive you more. Amen to that. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Receive Amen. more so that you can also travel to where? Where do you want to go? I want to see Etosa okay. National Park in Namibia and oh. I see the Namib Desert. Oh, nice. Where it yes. meets the, the, yes. the sea. Where it meets the I really sea. want to see that as well. So we'll go to Greece first. Yes. Then, then we'll go to Namibia. Way back, yeah, Namibia. and then when we come back, we'll get more money to replace all the money that we've everything. lost. Anyway, thank you so much, both <laughs> of you, you, for joining us. And it's been a very interesting day, very interesting presentation. Some very exciting, some you're like, oh, okay, interesting. I didn't know this about you, but I don't know who has been your favorite so far. I just hope that at least you found one person, and you're looking forward to how they will perform subsequently in the competition. Thank you again for that brilliant presentation. And to all of them, good job. This is the Top in 10. Wow, what a day it has been. Very long, yet very exciting and worth every second every minute, every hour. You remember that popular statement Lupita Nyong'o made at the Oscars, where she said, your dreams are valid. I think that if it resonates with anyone at this juncture, it would be a top 12 finalist. And well, they're looking to turn their dreams into reality. And that's why I call them the go-getters of this competition. What matters most is how they are going to be inspired by their future aspirations to handle their task and execute the challenges that will be presented before